Yeah, there are some articles out there and there are some ideas that, oh, it's rubbish, chest press machine crap. No, <laughs> it will work your chest. Don't lie to anybody. You want to have a massive chest. You also want to have massive arms and massive deltoids and a massive back. You don't really care about your legs because nobody cares about legs. You don't mind being top heavy. That's cool. Um, but the chest is the one that people focus on the most. I don't know why, whether it's an ego thing in the gym when you're benching or when Monday comes around and everybody goes to the gym to do chest. And I guess it's good to do videos like this because there'll be evergreen content, which YouTube appreciates. But I suppose there must just be a bunch of people talking about chest stuff at the moment because in my comments on Twitter, people are like, Mila, tell us what exercises you do for all of this and tell us blah, blah, blah. So, okay, well, I can do that. And obviously, we're all trapped indoors in the moment. So some of these you may not be able to do. But hey, you can store them away. You can write them down in a little book. And when you are able to go back to a fitness suite, unless you're very lucky to have one at home, you can do that. Please hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. Please hit the like button. Just engage with this video as much as you possibly can because that's what YouTube loves. And yeah, here's my personal seven best checks exercises and one that I think is ridiculous. Number seven is the machine press. Uh, these aren't really in any particular order in terms of you must do this at number one, but don't do it less at number seven. You kind of figure it out for yourself. But I, the reason I throw the machine press in there first is because I think it gets a bad rap. It's... Is the idea that obviously when you're doing uh, free weights, like dumbbells and barbells, you will work stabilizer muscles, which are going to help support bigger muscles that you have, and that's important. But the really good thing about doing a machine press is that you're going to isolate your chest, which on chest day is what you're trying to do. And a lot of people, obviously, when something's on a line or whatever you want to call it, you know what I mean, on your chest, you can only go the way the machine will let you do it. When you can do that, it's kind of easier to squeeze your chest at the top, and it's easier to do a negative rep, because if you drop it, which you shouldn't do, is not cool but if you did happen to do that it will just reset into place but yeah there are some articles out there and there are some ideas that oh it's rubbish chest press machine crap no <laughs> it will work your chest i mean really when it comes down to it intensity is the most important thing but don't neglect the machine press or the chest press or whatever you call in your gym it's a great way to focus on the chest and you want a big chest hashtag chest number six is dips now yes dips will work your triceps mostly more than your chest but i like it a lot i felt like it helped me just get a more well-rounded chest while also getting some tricep working i don't see that as a problem because i do push days and therefore i want to work my tricep and i want to work my chest what i thought was important to throw in here is that what a lot of people do is they go backwards, which is cool because you're still going to be working your arms but or your triceps, but you want to go forward. That's what you want to do. I can't really show it to you here. I'll try and find a picture. But if you think about how you tilt on a uh, dipping platform, whichever you may be using the bars, just try and make sure you tip forward so your ass is more in, your air, in the air and your chest is kind of hanging out a little bit more. And that's how you will do your chest. Again, it gets a bad rap because everybody yells it was tricep exercise. You can make it what you want to make it. And if you wake up the next day feeling sort of sore doms in your triceps and your chest, no person that's ever lifted weights have gone, oh, I can't believe it. I only wanted delayed onset muscle soreness in my chest. Now I've got it in my triceps. So it's good. It's good. It's like you're killing two birds with one stone. Number five, kind of similar to number seven, but don't neglect them if you have it. Hammer strength machines. Uh, I love hammer strength machines or hammer strength uh, chest press in this in this um, example because, you know, as opposed to, uh, some people don't know what hammer strength machines are, but I don't like to patronize. I was gibberish a lot of that. But obviously on a machine, you are using the weights that have been provided for you. You, whereas on a hammer strength machine, you have just two poles or whatever it may be, and you can put on actual plates that you would do for, for free weight lifting. And not only does that give you a little bit more flexibility when it comes to what you want to lift, but I sometimes find, you know, you're still on that line we talked about earlier in sense of what a machine does, but because you're lifting quote unquote proper weight, I mean, again, weight is weight. You can pick up a couple of water bottles at the moment, put them on a broom, and that still counts. But I, I do like hammer strength machines. I would always personally pick one over a normal quote unquote gym machine, uh, but try not to neglect let them either. The problem with hammer strength machines in the UK, it's different in the US, is that so many gyms don't care about them and don't bring them in. But if you do have one, you know, that to me is an absolute, uh, well, I, I would call it an essential, essential tool in building a bigger chest. And you get, get different ones as well, where the seat will move a little bit and you can work all elements of it. It rocks. Number four is cable flies or dumbbell flies. I kind of find some people go way too heavy on these. Uh, to me, they're more of a time under tension exercise. And what I mean by that, just in case, it, you know, I don't, again, I'm terrified about patronizing people. I don't want to. Is that, again, you want to make sure you take as much time with the rep 
to keep your, in this case, chest under as much tension as possible. If you think you can do really heavy ones, great. But I, to me, that's just a recipe for injury because even if your elbows go out of whack, you're just going to put so much pressure on pressure on your shoulders. But yeah, whether you want to lay down uh, and do it with a couple of dumbbells like that or you want to get a couple of cables and come the other way, I just think it's really good. You'll hit your side chest. I get no better squeeze. <laughs> what a strange sentence. But I get no better squeeze than when I'm doing um, cable flies especially. And sometimes I just like to hold it there for, you know, two, three, four, five, six seconds. Really get the blood flow into it and then slowly go back. Um, but yeah, try maybe going a little bit lighter on that if you haven't done already. But I'm not here to crap over your workout if it's working for you. Number three is push-ups. Everybody always goes nuts when I say push-ups. I think push-ups are great. They're awesome. There will always be something in your life if you're an active person when you need to push something up. And also, if you get really good at push-ups, it's going to help every single exercise on this list. And the doubly cool thing with it, or the triply cool thing, is you can do them anywhere. You could be in Timbuktu with no food, no clothes, no life, no helicopter, no airplane, no nothing, and you'd be able to do some press-ups. Even if you're in the desert, you'd still be able to do kind of a press-up, even though the sand would make it a little bit difficult. If you think they're too easy, put a plate on your back. Get a 20 plate or a 45 pound plate in America and put it on your back. That will make them harder. Do body exercises or body weight exercises. They deserve more credit. Number two is in-kind press or you can do it with dumbbells as well. I love it. It's actually my personal favorite one. Uh, but number one, which you've already figured out, is, uh, <laughs> is is better, I suppose, for trying to build a big chest. I just really, really like it. Because obviously, not only do you target the upper chest, which some people don't do, but it will target most of your chest as well. And, uh, you know, obviously, again, you have the choice of the bar. You have a choice of dumbbells. I prefer dumbbells. And this is the key when it comes to angles. Some people like to do incline prints like they're sitting up doing shoulders. Don't do that. You can take it down. Because think about it. If you're doing flat, which, yes, we'll talk about in a second, and even though if, if you go to there... It's still an incline. It still counts. You're still moving your body enough. Just try not to put your deltoids under too much stress because that's not what you're training right now. And the shoulder, you get a shoulder injury, that's it. It's the end of your life. Uh, some people like doing them on Smith machines. I don't personally, again, because you're locked in. I think you need a little bit of flexibility like we mentioned earlier with that. But again, find what works for you. But don't be afraid either because obviously getting on a bench press, haha, oh, number one, uh, it's really hard sometimes. If the incline bench is free or you can just go on to a normal bench and do it with dumbbell presses there's nothing wrong with starting your workout uh, uh, with that like i say uh, an incline press to me is equally as good as the flat one which brings us to number one which is the bench press be that with dumbbells i think this one is better with a bar because obviously you can load it up but it is the king of chest exercises. You probably knew this before I even started talking, and now you're rolling your eyes. But hopefully, if you were expecting it, it's just justified uh, justified what you thought already. It just is. You know this. You don't need me to go into it. Try and work on your form, because again, you can put a lot of pressure on your shoulders. Um, but do them. Do them. And if you're not doing them, start doing them. Your chest is going to grow. And also, you'll get a load of bro, gym bro points in the gym if you can lift loads of weight. Essentially, everything over 100 kilograms, at least one person will be looking at what you're doing. And that will raise your ego and make you feel good. And really, that's why we're going to the gym to begin with, to feel good one way or the other. So yeah, you can do it. Bench press is probably the best with the bar. Dumbbell press is still good. Again, I think they're cut. you can always argue maybe a little bit that they're two different exercises. It's me being a little bit crazy. What I I mean by that is mostly I wouldn't ever go crazy crazy with the amount of weight that I would do on incline but on flat if I use a barbell I'm going to be able to lift more weight than if I do a couple of dumbbells is that true I don't think that's true the point is try with the barbell if you've never tried it before then move on to other things and I also mentioned the title that I wanted to rag on, on one chest exercise I hate it to me you may as well just go into the gym and try your injury yourself the Dean Klein press to me I, I, I did decline press once and it was just agonizing on my shoulders and I can't believe people do it. If you're going to do them light, awesome. Even if you want to do them heavy, awesome. Maybe you're looking at this bald idiot right now going, well, I could do them. You clearly don't know what you're doing. Yes, probably true, but I hate them. They feel awkward. I can never lift any weight on them anyway. And I'm going like this the whole time. And I don't want to be in that position where I feel like an astronaut about to go into space. I have no interest in that. Space is terrifying. You can die out there. I don't do decline. I'm never going to do decline. I don't like decline. I get annoyed when I go into the gym like my gym and it has a decline, but it doesn't have an incline. I'm like That is ridiculous. And then you go figure it out using whatever you have to do. Just my personal preference. And if you disagree, good for you. And that's that. There are some things that I think will help your chest. Some of them you can do at home. Press-ups, for example. And, you know, you can figure out a way to do an incline press-up. Just um, let me look it up on the internet. But if you put your hands on a table, for example, and start 
doing some push-ups it is the essentially the same as an incline bench but you're not moving weight so it's going to be easier again if you could subscribe that would rock i'd appreciate it like the video share the video leave me a comment below you can yell at me that's cool i do have a patreon patreon.com forward slash simon 316 because i enjoy doing videos but it takes me up some time so i have to finance them and as i always say i don't earn any money from youtube because i don't do that many views <laughs> yet yet we're on the pathway but i do appreciate everybody that watches simon miller signing out